What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's the 18th of June. It is Sunday. It's actually Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all those fathers out there, all those investing fathers out there. Hopefully, you guys can teach your kids or hand down a little bit of what you have learned about the markets if you are a trader or an investor, or maybe you're just watching this for pure entertainment. Either way, happy Father's Day. Guys, switching things up a little bit this Sunday morning, I'm just going to take a quick look here for some entertainment purposes only, of course. What are the trending cryptocurrencies on CoinMarketCap? We're going to take a look at a couple here. We'll jump over to the charts and see if any of them look like a decent buy, in my opinion, of course. So we are on CoinMarketCap.com. Number one on the trending cryptocurrencies is Pepe. It has been for a while. I don't know how long it has been, but it's been on trending number one for a long time now, many weeks. So Pepe, number one, ticker symbol PE. PE, we'll go over to coin market cap. <coughs> coin market cap. Oh, excuse me, tradingview.com all over the place this morning. So we put out a video yesterday and we actually covered Pepe briefly, but we'll take a quick look at it once again if you missed it. So Pepe is back up to the 96560 level right here, 96560 level. Looks like we got a close above that line, so we could be in for a nice rally here for Pepe. You can see we actually broke out past the 965.60, pulled back support, and then we're above it now. So we'll have to see how it plays out if it decides to break to the upside. It does look like, at least in the short term, we could be in for a higher Pepe price. And just for fun, guys, I threw this on yesterday in yesterday's video. So I took this swing high over here to our basically our double bottom here. And just to get us up to the 1618 FIB based on this most recent consolidation. So that is, I believe it's roughly up there in the 126 to 295 area. But more importantly, I think that's about a thousand percent move. Yeah. 11 to 1200% move to get us up to that first FIB level based on this most recent pullback. So if you think um, if you think this is a good time to buy Pepe, you know, the fibs say that this thing could move higher in the right market, of course. But we will see quite the pullback. It's what is it, 70% off the highs? I think it was yesterday. 78% off the highs. So that is Pepe, guys. It's cheap. I believe we have five zeros in front of the let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six zeros, guys, in front of the 98,689. Very cheap. Get a lot of Pepe for very little amount of money. BNB, guys, I believe that is Binance. Uh, Binance token or Binance coin. Let's check it out. So before we go to the chart, Binance in the last 30 days is down 20%. Pepe is down 35% in the last 30 days in the last month. Let's check out BNB. I don't think I've really ever looked at BNB. BNB will go to the US dollar, USD. So B yeah, Binance coin slash US dollar. Take a ticker symbol. BNB USD trading at. Let's see, what are we trading at over here? $247.70. Just had a pretty major sell-off here on Binance. Coin broke down past this basically head and shoulders here. Roughly, this topping pattern broke down very, very strong. Undercut the lows over here on the 10th of March. Kept on going. Double bottomed off of this low right here, which was the 17th of December. And have rallied quite a bit off of that. From that low to where we're at is basically a 12 or 13 percent move. Is the bottom in for Binance Coin? Well, 
if something like this plays out where you get a let me zoom in for you you get a big sell-off guys right here big sell-off rally up trade sideways next leg higher what would that look like well sell off rally up sideways next leg higher if if bitcoin starts to do well it'll help the rest of the market out otherwise these things usually will roll over once again creating a lower high but if bitcoin does well it's going to help the rest of the market number three on coin market cap on the trending cryptocurrencies squid grow i don't know what squid grow is if you do let me know in the comments i have no clue what squid grow is sounds stupid sounds like a meme coin sounds like one of those things that you know it'll be here today be gone tomorrow but it's number three the 24 hour volume is 6.2 million it only has a market cap of 11 million so it looks like this thing is pretty much new to the market and let's check out squid grow so let's go over to the charts squid grow i guess we'll go to this one here this thing is at i don't know how many zeros that is but it's quite a bit it's probably six or seven zeros 105.49 is the price is this a good buy well that is a great question and i do not have a good answer you could look at this as some kind of an inverse whatever bottoming pattern you could maybe an inverse head and shoulders here you know something along those lines you got some major resistance obviously right up in here at the looks like the 20 the 237 area major resistance for the market up in here so if the thi if this thing find can find some support basically where it's at and start to rally back in the right market conditions and get back up to this level you could see a big break to the upside but these meme coins guys some of them i i see you can make some good money in and some of them, you know, may, might be worth an investment, but a lot of these things, you know, they come, they go. Um, could it be part of your portfolio? Could you add a little bit in your portfolio? Well, of course, you know, a small percentage, you know, whatever, whatever makes sense for you. But I don't know what Squid Grow is. If you do, let me know. But it's cheap. So if you want to own a few million shares for a small amount of money, then, uh, you know, have at it. But it's on the trending list, number three. Number four is SUI, down 32 in the last 30. Looks like we have a three uh, $461 million market cap, $319 million in the last 24. SUI, let's check this out. This thing is trending, trending to the upside. SUI will go to uh, the US dollar here. Actually has a similar look to... Um, to pepe if you take out this candle right here trending down bottom and we're i bet there's a uh pretty strong resistance level right here right around that 76 cents so still you know not as cheap as something like pepe but you know definitely under a dollar it looks like it's trading at about 76 cents right now this is interesting if this thing can start to move up a little higher it could be a good buy actually We'll have to see if it can get above this resistance level right here at this 75, 76 level. SUI, once again, not sure what this one is. If you know, feel free to let me know in the comments. Also, guys, if you have any other cryptocurrencies you want me to cover, or, or even stocks, I pay a lot of attention over in the stock market. Go ahead and let me know. Cardano, ADA, that is actually on the trending cryptocurrencies. So down 27 in the last... 30. Let's check out ADA. I haven't looked at that one in a long time. ADA. We'll take a look at the, we'll do Cardano and US dollar on Binance. Similar look to some of the other cryptos here. Looks like we had a major, major sell off here. I wouldn't be surprised to see these major sell offs here, at least being the bottom for a while. 
just looking at XRP and the same thing. We had this massive sell-off. You know, not massive, but pretty big, bigger, bigger than we've seen in a while. And then we're starting to actually get a rally to the upside. We'll see how far that rally can go. But uh, undercut a major low over here on the looks like December 30th. Big candle wick. And now we're up here potentially trading sideways. And then maybe we rally Cardano trading at 26 cents ADA. V chain V E T. Let's take a look at VeChain. That should be number five on the list. VeChain US dollar Bitfinex. Trading at one cent, one five point zero, one five one. Very similar look than very similar look to other cryptocurrencies here. Undercut that major low over here. And big candle wick, although this thing did fade once again. It's funny, guys. People will get upset when, you know, markets don't always go in the direction they want. Usually it's up. People do short the markets. Most people are just long the market. They're bulls. Shorting is a whole different game. But, you know, they say projects are dead or whatever. They get, you know, they get upset when markets aren't always in the green if you're a bull. You realize that the or you should, you should realize that across the board right now, prices are at their lows, if not lower. So maybe it takes another year or two before we get into a very strong bull cycle in the crypto market. You're going to look back at some of these prices and be like, I cannot believe I was not, you know, dollar cost averaging or whatever the case may be, you know, at least in my opinion, it's not financial advice. So let that sink in, you know. I mean, you can get Casper now for four cents. You can get XRP for 48. XLM is eight cents. Shiba is, looks like four or five zeros with a seven. I mean, things are cheap. Bitcoin Cash. Um, do I have Bitcoin Cash on here? BCH. BCH is 108. I believe BCH hit, let's take a look, three or four thousand dollars in 2018, 17. Yeah. Not long ago it was a sixteen to seventeen hundred dollar product. It's like about two years ago or a year and a half ago. It's a hundred bucks. So just things are cheap right now. Let's take a look at let's see, Bitcoin's on the list, Matic. Don't know if I've ever even looked at Matic. M A T I C. Let's do this one here. Actually, we'll do yeah, we'll do KuCoin. Cheap. I mean, look at this thing. Cheap once again at sixty-one cents. Big big sell-off right here. Big uh, rising wedge broke, undercut some major lows. Things are cheap, guys. So what is on the trending list? Pepe, BNB, Squid Grow, SUI, ADA, VeChain. We got Tether on there. Bitcoin, Polygon. We got Shiba Inu on there. Being trending higher. Ethereum, Core, Magic, whatever the hell that is. Terra Luna, or Terra Classic, I should say. Caspa, KAS. That actually was just, KAS was just listed on Uphold. Take a look at KAS. KAS. It was listed on Uphold. It wasn't long ago, if I'm correct. Let's take a look at the KuCoin data. KAS breaking. Yeah, this thing actually could be ready for a, another leg to the upside. We have a. We have a sell-off into a lower high, right? So in a downtrend, we have a pullback into a higher low. Any one of these low candles here would set off my radar as in we could be getting ready for that big bull leg to the upside. The low came in on the 6th of June, so a couple days ago, and we started to rally and then 
boom, we get a huge candle breaking out, giving us that higher high. We have a change in trend for KAS. A pullback to 1.8 is a potential area of support. We're at two. We're at two right now. So 1.8, not too much further away. And then maybe that next leg higher. So this thing, KAS has broken out. Looks like it's pulling back. Potentially a good buy in the market. This actually is one of the better looking charts that we've looked at this morning. So KAS, CASPA, you can actually buy that on Uphold, KAS. I'll leave a link down below if you want to sign up for an Uphold account and buy whatever it is you want to buy. You can buy XRP over there, KAS. You can buy Casper, XLM on the Uphold platform. So guys, this is Coin Market Cap. This is the trending cryptocurrencies, Pepe, BNB, Squid Grow, SUI, ADA, VeChain, Bitcoin, Matic, SHIB, Ethereum, Core, Magic, Terra Classic, KAS, Just, JST. So there is all kinds of things here on the CoinMarketCap website. What you can do is CoinMarketCap.com. And then on the top of the website here, you have a training. You have recently added. So these are recently added. Uh, projects and then you have your you can basically go through here and click which category you want to sort the cryptos by it's a great website check it out real quick before we wrap it up bitcoin so guys bitcoin is back above some important levels we had a major break on bitcoin but found support at the twenty five thousand area on the 14th and had a nice, nice rally, finding a little bit of resistance at the lower end of this range here. Pretty normal to see. Could see a pullback back down to like 26, 23. Maybe a little lower, but that's basically where it wants to hold. And uh, so far, we're still in that downtrend here. You know, higher, higher high, lower low, lower low. Basically, an equal high here. Maybe you call it a higher high. So a pullback would give us a higher low. And then we can see a very strong leg to the upside. That's one scenario that could play out. But I'm not going to dive too deep into Bitcoin. But looking good. But it's stalling out right now. Only up 8 bucks. All right, guys. Have a great Father's Day. Enjoy your weekend. Let me know down in the comments what other cryptos you want me to take a look at. And if they look good, I will put out a video. You guys have a great weekend. Take care.